for a look into the Unicorn of Love's big win. Thank you very much, guys. I'm joined here by Power of Evil. Uh, great performance there, picking Syndra once again as a champion that I think has fallen out of favor a little bit uh, in the, big, uh, the bigger picture. Let's talk about why you picked it, what were some of the triggers, and also why are you so good on this champion? Well, so I really love the champion, her playstyle, the burst, she's really strong on the laning phase. Even so, after the nerfs, her power spike is after 6, and uh, with the new 5.5 .5 change and Luden's Echo, it's giving her even more bursts on the, it's like a static shift now, and you can push out lane, you can one-shot the enemies, and, it's, and the movement speed is even better on her because of the mobility, because she has no any gap, gap closers, and that's pretty good on her now. Well, if you were a salesman, I would buy Syndra instantly. Why did you pick it into the Copenhagen Wolves? It was the last champion you guys locked in. What were some of the reasons as to that decision? So first, we saw they're going for Cassiopeia because Soren is a really good Cassiopeia player. And uh, I'm a Cassiopeia player as well, so I thought they're going to de deny it for me. And I really like to play Syndra against Cassio, so we practice it a lot. Syndra is in general now in the 5.5 uh, patch, I would say tier one, or at least for me. And uh, that's why I picked it. Well, congratulations on the win. Eight and seven on the split with the victory against Copenhagen Wolves. You're setting yourselves up for the playoffs. Before we talk about some of the rest of the opponents, how would you respond to people calling Unicorns the most consistently inconsistent team in the league? Uh, it's something you guys seem to do fairly often. Well, it's quite hard. Like, it, I mean, you shouldn't underestimate any team. Like, in, in LCS, everyone can give in against anyone. So I would say we need to, uh, well, be more consistent, of, of course, and get our uh, stuff together. But uh, I think if we get me rolling and get our objective control how we did it in this game, we win every game. Yeah, this definitely seems to be a case. Big focus on the Dragons. Just before we head back to the analyst desk, I want to touch on the rest of the games you guys have in the split. Fnatic, H2K, and Gambit. You've got what we call one of the hardest schedules going forward. How much does that weigh on your shoulders, knowing you're still not 100% safe in the playoffs? So, first of all, we already won once against Fnatic, so I'm confident that we have another uh, chance of winning against them, and we won the same against Gambit, so we have 2-0 against uh, one of the best teams, and I think we can take a win against them any time, but you shouldn't underestimate them or overestimate them. Well, very, very smart on I'm looking forward to those matches, especially against Fnatic. For now, we're going to head back to Shox and Cyanide at the Analyst Day.